I didn't expect to be reviewing a texture based asset but as awesome as this pack is there are a few things I just want to mention. Also stay tuned I have an exciting giveaway to announce at the end of the video. It's the last few days of the Unity Asset Store Sprint into Spring Sale and I, I grabbed this texture pack because I wanted it for a long time. There were a few reasons why I did not get it before which I will get to in a bit because after purchasing this pack my concerns were realized. After you've downloaded a pack and imported it, there is a scene available if you go into the 250 plus mega bundles textures scene 250 plus mega bundles textures scene this is set up to give you an overview of all the textures available it does take a while to import it is four gigs it is high quality stuff indeed and you'll see there's textures available for rocks wood walls dirt um, lava water so quite comprehensive i mean this is i can tell you guys already that this is worth the money Okay, so get it while it's on sale. Otherwise, if you can't get it now, get it later. It is totally worth it. I mean, 250 textures, if you do the math, I mean, just a single texture like this, a high quality one, will take an artist, a very good artist, about maybe two hours. I mean, that's, it's not just the drawing of a texture. It is all the maps involved, the normal maps, the, the detailed maps, all the stuff that I don't even understand myself. So. I'm not an artist and yeah, for me to do something like this, it's just, no, it's not going to happen. So I'm so glad I got this. I'm going to get into just a bit of nitpicking in a bit and I'll show you what I did. The one thing that was a bit of a problem for me was I cannot see immediately how this will look in, uh, in a proper setup scene. Okay, so what I would suggest to the developers of this asset is to create a scene with something set up properly, a terrain set up with all the grass textures uh, set up. Okay, maybe not all the grass setup textures used, but you know, uh, just some of it just to give the users an idea. And that is something that stopped me from buying this asset Im initially. Um, because I mean I've seen this available for over a year now and as much as I wanted to get it I couldn't see what a good setup scene looks like and from these I don't know if you're an artist then maybe you guys can see uh, what or have a better idea than me what this will look like but for someone who's not I think that's that's a bit of an issue um, so what I did was I tried setting up a scene a simple scene don't laugh when I open it. Okay, so I set up this terrain with just uh, some of the textures used. Uh, set up a few houses here. So you can see more or less what this will look like. Um, there's some of the bricks in use. You can see that's high quality stuff. Okay, the tiles used on the roofs. Um, yeah, not the, the best looking houses, but the, I just slapped this together quickly just to get an idea of what it would look like okay and you can see if you have a proper model this, this is really going to look amazing i used uh, some of the floor tiles on the ground here you can see that is really good stuff the grass looks so good um, if i do a bit of a fly through here you will see it actually looks like you are doing a track in in the shire <laughs> lord of the rings and yeah, that looks amazing. You can see what the snow looks like. I'm going to zoom in on the snow and well, I'll just do a bit more of a fly through here. The sand, the ground textures are awesome as well. But setting up a terrain like this does take time and it's not my forte. Um, I did the best that I could, but I think that the developers really should set up a, a proper scene to help sell, sell this a bit easier, especially to people like me. But you can see even with my um, really bad skills at doing terrains, this, this, this does look really cool. So that's the, that's the one little complaint that I've got. But um, yeah, look, I'm sure that the developers could fix that quite easily by creating a few models and setting up a scene. The other issue that I had was it was hard to find textures. So if I click on my terrain, and you have to set up all your textures here in your painter. Okay, if you're familiar with the Unity Terrain Editor, you'll know that you need to click on this Edit Terrain, create new layer, 
and you can see it's not easy to find what you want if you want to look for grass textures for example these are all labeled volume three underscore whatever volume you know so uh, what i had to do was go back into that setup scene go and realign the camera every time find the right texture like that and you can see it is uh and that takes a bit of a, a bit of time to re-import that scene as you can see but yeah go and look for that grass texture see that is volume 21 and this will be volume 21 underscore three go back to my scene and click on the terrain click on edit terrain layers create layer again and then look it up by that number okay so you can see that was just a bit of a time waster it should be labeled properly and if i go and look at the at the comments on the asset store a few people mentioned that as well they they made a fix at some point where they organized all the materials so if you go into materials you can see this is organized which is fine if you're not using unity's terrain okay but if you are using unity's terrain you cannot go in uh, click on the terrain and drag and drop it from there you cannot do that you have to still go edit create layer and figure out what each one looks like that way so that's a bit easier than what i was doing i was going back and forth between scenes um it's also just easier to see using that scene that they've set up what's best for you to use okay that's the only bad things i have to say and look this is a really amazing asset if you have to spend your time creating textures like these you are gonna be spending hours and hours like me Imagine spending three hours on just getting one of these textures right. I mean, over 250 textures, do the math, that's 750 hours. So, well worth it. Get it while it's on sale. If you can't, get it some other time. If you look at the developer's page, uh, this is done by Low Poly. If you don't like that pack, they've got other packs. They've got sci-fi packs. They've got smaller packs that's cheaper as well. If you just want to water, for example, there's yeah you can see all these are cheaper they had some nice oh here's a stylized fantasy village that's set up i don't know if they're using the textures from this pack that i reviewed so yeah it's hard to say if that's a good reference point uh they've got some models set up here as well so yeah um they've got a ton of assets so maybe have a look at their their page if, if these textures are not what you're looking for it looks like they've got something for everything so very happy with this purchase just developers please keep in mind what i mentioned just the file names and setting up the scene that's all i have to say about this and stay tuned for the giveaway guys a big thanks goes out to rayfire studios for sponsoring a free voucher for rayfire that's the asset that i reviewed last time it's a truly amazing one and i can't thank rayfire studios enough for for the generosity in this all you have to do is just uh, leave a like and a comment and one of you will get this voucher so stay tuned for that i will announce the winner in the next video so keep an eye out for that until next time guys enjoy